Okay. Um, we we had a, a scrimmage Tuesday with officials, and it was the first time uh, I probably separated, let's just say, what was as of Tuesday the top seven guys, and um, they played together, and um, so. I think the good news is they played well, and I think the way it was received by the guys that, let's say the six or seven guys that weren't in the top seven, I thought they handled it pretty well. Um, uh, I would say that um, the top seven guys that were out there are going to wind up being in our top nine or ten. Um, who, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten will be. We'll see that on, on Friday when we open up against Eckerd. Um, so you'll get a feel for who that is. So, in other words, I thought the guys did well playing, and I thought the guys that didn't, weren't out there playing, handled the fact that they weren't out there okay. Um, and obviously, most of our veterans are out there, and some of our, most of our newcomers aren't. Um, and so, um, but that was the most pleasing to me. Of the eight newcomers, Three or four of them have got to help this team win. But they've all got to be ready to be more dominant players next year. That was what it was when they got here. That's what it is now. The question was who? You know, who, 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 was, who was it going to be? Um, so uh, we, we, we play, uh, we've got a, uh, uh, our first scrimmage um, on Sunday. And of course, the private scrimmages, we're actually going to go on the road for this scrimmage. And by rule, we're not allowed to even you know, talk about score or how it all you know, you know, transpired, right? It was funny, by rule, right? And the other day I saw, I was only searching the internet or whatever, you know, looking at my Twitter, and I actually saw highlights of one of them. I'm like, how can, that be? How can there be highlights of one of them when they're supposed to be private? I think it's a really good rule because it's going to let us go against somebody else. We're ready to hit somebody else. We're ready to see somebody else. And the key to the early season stuff is to get exposed. A couple years ago, we lost to a Division II school. We got exposed. I hope we get exposed on Sunday. I hope we get exposed a little bit next Friday night because, you know, a week from Tuesday, it's Georgia Southern who's picked to win their league. And then it's Davidson. And then it's at South Alabama who's picked to finish second or third in the same league that Georgia Southern's picked to win. So the first three games are going to be, are going to be really interesting, really challenging. Of those eight newcomers, Bruce, you talked a lot about Isaac and Stretch and Turbo. Yeah. Any of the others sort of stepped up and maybe showed they're ready to contribute? I think, you know, I think, I think, you know, Isaac's been terrific, you know, and um, and, and he will continue. He is such a dominating defensive player. Um, he, I've, I've, I've only had one player in my career that could guard one through five. And that was a young man named Stanley, Stanley Gerard. Stan Gerard was a Division II national player he had two times. And, uh, He's a head coach in Indianapolis, and uh, he was uh, just a great player. Uh, also 6'6", six, six. and um, he, uh, and so where Isaac plays is actually going to be interesting in the sense that I've been rotating him exclusively in the backcourt, and part of the reason why I want to leave him there is because he's our best guard defender. Um, and I think that Javon and Samir and Isaac could be a great defensive backcourt. I may have said that last week, but I, that's what kind of what I want. To, I want those. I want to instill that in them. I think that's possible. Um, but Isaac could play more than just guard. He could. I can move him around a little bit, and he's also got the basketball IQ to be moved around. Uh, Jamal Johnson, um, having been here a year ago, has an advantage because he practiced a year ago. He played at Memphis as a freshman. So it would be natural to sort of see him be able to get out there sooner than later. Um, and, uh, um, and I think the other guys, like you said, Ty at, at backup point guard or, or, or Stretch at backup five or Jalen at the backup four um, have all showed promise. You know, Devin Cambridge has been, has been in a boot now for about a week and a half. And uh, we're gonna get some more information on him. Um, he, he got hurt the Wednesday before we went on fall break. And we took we took fall break off, came back on that Sunday, and we had to put him in a boot. So he must have done something in that Wednesday practice, whether it was a stress fracture or not. He has he had something going on. When it comes to a stress fracture, um, it actually takes a couple of weeks to take pictures of it to see 
if there's been some bone laid down and some healing to know, uh-huh, it was a stress fracture. So right now, we're getting ready to take those pictures and see what it was. If there's no bone being laid down, then it wasn't a stress fracture, it was just a, a, a tweak and he'll get back sooner. If there is bone being laid down, then we'll see again how long he has to be out. Devin's got a chance to be in our top 10, he does. Uh, so it's an unfortunate thing for us and for him that he's out. Has Anthony started to look more confident like he was before that injury? You know, uh, it's going to be interesting. I get asked that question a lot. Will Anthony ever regain that incredible, like, let's just call it a freakish athleticism, right? Um, he's getting cl he's closer, but, but still, um, um, while he's incredibly explosive and powerful, um, it, 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 it's not quite what it was, but it's getting closer. The skills are there. His shooting is there. His defense is there. His basketball IQ is there. His, his effectiveness as a player. But does he stay in the air as long as he did? I mean, not quite as much as he protected in the rim. Now, that's in practice. Once the games come on, we'll, we'll see, you know, where he's at. Um, but uh, I'm just glad that he's back. I'm glad that he's healthy. We'll have to see this year, once games go, just whether or not that crazy athleticism is returned. You had a 